stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my struggles that has been made worse because of what people have said to me. If you're here for the first time, this is Dagithi Kenyan. If you are back again for another episode, this is still Dagithi Kenyan. Welcome to the Cross Cultured Vlog, episode 5. The reason why I struggled with my weight so much growing up is because in the Ethiopian culture, beauty is defined as a size zero, which I am not and I have never been. <laughs> and I have gained some, lost some, gained again, lost again. And the sad thing is it's so much a part of the culture that even when people meet after a while, they, you know, they have the pleasantries, the greetings. Oh, hi, how are you doing? And the very next sentence talks about weight. He talks about and all those things that just make people feel worse about themselves. I have seriously held conversations with a number of people asking them why this is such a norm and how they feel about it. And none of them told me that it was the right thing to do. And they all shared that they feel bad when that is pointed out every so often. So ladies and gentlemen, I am here to make a public service announcement. Please leave the weight conversation alone. It only makes everybody just feel heavier afterwards. See what I did right there? And even those who find it easy to dish out all these comments define who they are on the same terms. They struggle with it themselves. One beautiful day on the streets of Addis Ababa, as I was just taking a stroll by myself, some random guy shouts, Eh, hey, catch up! I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? Yo, nobody, nobody can ever call me Kacho in their right mind. What? Like even someone who doesn't know my name, who doesn't know where I'm from, who doesn't know what I'm about. If I was still in that emotional weak place, that would really, really mess up with me. And the guy don't even know me. And I don't even know the guy. It's so sad how like everybody and everything out there has the ability to tap into the insecurities that communities and societies have instilled in us because of what is defined as beautiful and what is defined as perfect. And then we're all reaching out and trying to reach that elusive perfection. But the toughest moment for me has to be something that happened recently. And that is when someone said to me that now that you are becoming a public figure, you should consider losing weight properly. And that was the day I decided that no matter what weight I am, no matter what I look like on the outside, that I will still represent my Jesus. And I will still give him my 100% every time I get a stage and every time I get a camera in front of me. <laughs> So basically that's what I decided, not just for myself, but to set other people free. And even having these conversations on this platform is because I know that there's some things that are going unsaid. I know that there's some things that are going unaddressed. And at the same time, I know what it's like to get on a stage and feel less of a person just because of my outward appearance and not being able to give my 100% because I am caught up in people's conversations and what they say in passing. Making anyone feel that God cannot choose you until you lose some weight, that is so wrong. The only prerequisite for God to use you is that you truly understand who you are in him, that you receive him as your personal savior and that you listen to his voice. That is it. Being cross-cultured is all about identifying the brokenness in the different cultures that we are in and choosing to be the voice and choosing to take a stand so that we set other people free. And this is my way of taking a stand. This is my way of bringing these conversations into the atmosphere because these are things that people do not address in public. We just tend to our wounds behind closed doors. We cry to Jesus, we cry to family, we cry to friends, but then we do not reach out, we do not speak out, we do not address these things in public because it's not a, such a spiritual conversation. But ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing more important than God's people being healed. And this is a process of healing. Amen. Being cross-cultured is all about speaking life into people. And so today, guys, I would like to ask you to just tag a friend in the comment section below and just tell them why you appreciate them and why you love them. So the first comment is going to be from me <laughs> tag a friend let them know that you're thinking about them and tell them why they're amazing let's do that have some love people speak life